Hi, my name is John Runaway and we are here at Chalum La Graffiti Park in Patum Van, close to the Raja TV BTS station. In this episode, I will cover everything that you need to know about this lovely little graffiti park, how to get here and the vibrant area around it. After that, we will explore a couple of other areas where you can come across incredible graffiti and street art here in Bangkok. So let's go and admire some incredible artworks. By the way, stick with me until the end of this episode. I have a really nice giveaway for you guys later. Entering the Chalumla Gardens, you're immediately greeted by a small football field. Oh, look how many cats they have. You are a little chubby. Ah. She didn't like that. Cat shaming. There are two deflated balls at your disposal, so best bring your own if you want to play here. Definitely not a great idea to start playing soccer at the beginning of the vlog. I'm already sweating. There is also an equally small children's playground in the space, but obviously it is all about the graffiti and street art on the walls around here. Okay, that's not particularly safe. Historically, this was just a random area without a fence around it. When the surrounding buildings became abandoned over time, it became a dumping ground for garbage and scraps, until the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration decided to revamp it in 2015 by commissioning several different local street artists and adding benches, green spaces and playgrounds. This opened up the opportunity for other graffiti and street artists to make their mark on the various walls surrounding this park. However, Bangkok's street art in this area is not only contained to this park, it extends far beyond crossing a historic landmark of the city, the Hua Chang Bridge, which is an ancient landmark built during the reign of King Rama V in the 1900s. <laughs> Actually, I'm not quite sure at this point if the next area we are about to visit is across, alongside or opposite of that bridge. Okay, so it's across the bridge and then under the bridge. All right. I'll be, I'll be back in a second. Okay. We went uh, all the wrong ways. Uh, I'm happy I'm here with Neil, which is a friend of mine. He's a Bangkok-based photographer. And I'm already lost as it is, but uh, he's giving me all of those directions. I am just an idiot not following them properly. So you have to go over the bridge and then across under the bridge to arrive, to basically to arrive where, where we want to arrive. Just, at this point, I have no idea anymore. Listening to Skip to My Beat Tape, Part 3. As I came to find out during my journey into Bangkok street art, walls alongside rivers and klongs are the most common areas to discover new artwork in the city. And it actually doesn't matter which direction you choose to go down. Those walls are located west of the bridge, down the Hua Chang Siam Square Ferry Terminal. I will mark all locations in the description box below for you. But now, let's move on to our next location. Three million baht? Yes, okay. today, today. Today? Yep. Can you choose for me? You choose? Two numbers. Two numbers? Yeah. He's gonna pick my winning ticket, I promise. This is my lucky number? Yep. Okay, I'll take those two, sir. Good luck to you today. Thank you very much, yeah. man. Yeah, go 
If you win, you come back. <laughs> I come back. Fifth, we make 50-50. What's your name? Uh, John. John. John Runaway. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Adam. Adam, nice meeting you. But not Saddam. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright guys, those are my two lucky tickets and the draw is in about four hours, so I'll keep you posted. Getting rich? Check! Now we arrived here at one of Bangkok's most historic districts called Talat Noi, which is home to an ethnic Chinese community. But it is also home to River City Bangkok, which is a large mall specialized in... <coughs> but more importantly, Talat Noi features the most beautiful and iconic street art you can find here around Bangkok, Thailand. If you haven't been to Talat Noi yet, you absolutely have to come and go for a walk here. This area is full of interesting side streets, cozy coffee shops, galleries and amazing eateries. You best take a cab to River City, park your bike here or walk over from the closest MRT station, which is called Hua Lampong. I'm starting my walk in the south of Charung Kroon Road before I make my way up north. Check out the side streets around this temple. This mural is already one of my most favorite artworks of the entire episode, but there is way more out here. Sometimes it's difficult to tell which walls are legal walls, which artworks have been commissioned and which ones have been painted overnight in secrecy. It's just an amazing, colorful mix you won't come across anywhere else in Bangkok. What you will come across more often though are the artworks of Alex Face, who is probably the most renowned international Thai street artist at the moment. I'm always super excited when I come across one of his signature Baby Marley characters. If you're out in Talat Noi, you can come across some more iconic Alex Face artworks close to the walls near Warehouse 30, which houses a nice little gallery dedicated to Thai street art. The entrance is free and it's a nice location to catch a break to cool down a little. You will find the walls by just taking a short walk to your left when exiting the gallery. Alright, let's continue to swirl around a little more around Charun Krung Road to take a look at another artist that caught my attention in one of the side streets recently. This is not it, but there is something that caught my attention last time and I wasn't brave enough to, uh, to go there and check it out closer, but I think it's over there. Yeah, so right there in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, it looks... I mean, from far away, it looks a little bit like a Banksy. Uh, I'm not an art expert, but yeah, I wasn't brave enough to go inside there and uh, check it out. I don't know if we can uh, manage it now to get myself through that tiny, tiny door. Okay, I think we managed. Alright, I can already see it's not a Banksy. It's uh, a street art piece by an uh, artist called Tona. Let's check it out. Tona is an international stencil artist from Hamburg, Germany, that made his guest appearance at several spots across Bangkok. You can find his recognizable stencils across Talat Noi, as well as around Tong Lor and Prakanong. Follow him on Instagram to check out his next exhibition or buy one of his prints online. 
yeah, from the street over there, it kind of looked like a Banksy. That would have been a Banksy, guys, you know. Probably would have asked uh, a few folks to uh, come here overnight and uh, neatly cut it out of this wall. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, let's continue. Uh. Uh. There is nothing I won't do for you guys. Well, now that I think about it, there's plenty of things that I wouldn't do for you guys. But jumping the fence, that I can do. Okay, let's take another detour. This time we go across the Chao Praia River to visit the jam factory on the other side. You can take a short boat ride for just 10 baht from this pier. I always enjoy taking a boat ride uh, across the Chao Praia River. It's one of my favorite things to do here, even though this was a very, very short one. To be honest, I expected a little more street art in between the torn down buildings around here. However, there is a small creative space next to the jam factory I saw on Google Maps. Look at this tree, Jesus. Ah, I could have just walked around. But this way is so much more satisfying. It's a cute little space that displays various photography projects from that studio. But the real gem seems to be this little bookshop slash cafe. It is another great spot to take a break and get your creative juices flowing. All right, now that's enough for a short expedition across the river. Now let's head back and check out one of the most iconic street art pieces here in Bangkok, Thailand. I am super excited because I haven't seen it live myself yet. Here we are guys, first time I see this one live. This iconic artwork was created by the traveling Belgian artist Roa and is in statement of the dwindling elephant population that is mostly held in captivity, which sadly prevents them to be included in the Wildlife Protection Act from hunting and domestication here in Thailand. This artwork is located in the north of Talat Noi, so let's continue to make our way through some of the side streets over here. You know what that means, guys. Like and subscribe. All right, this is a slightly racist depiction of a Chinese man. But there is a piece of street art that I wanted to show you, but I cannot find it. I went to this area like a year ago and um, there was the amazing Spider-Man somewhere around this area. Otherwise, I added in some footage I took prior. I think I captured it on camera. Oh my God, look at this alleyway. This area is just getting better and better. Of course, one of the more popular activities around those areas is to use the backdrop to take really cool pictures. Or, like in this case, pictures for your upcoming wedding.
YouTuber. Yes. Okay. Whoops, I subscribed. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye bye. One new subscriber at a time. By the way, you will find one of my most favorite co-working coffee shops in this part of town called Timo and Tintin. Check out my best co-working places in Bangkok episode for a closer look inside. Now there is one more spot I want to cover in today's episode to tie it all together. We are about to visit BACC, the Bangkok Arts and Culture Center, next to the BTS station called National Stadium. The reason behind visiting BACC is not to present you with yet another one of my favorite coffee shops in Bangkok and also not for the fact that BACC is housing many cool exhibitions that frequently feature contemporary local street artists from all different parts of Thailand. No, we are here to visit BKK Graph, located on the third floor. It's the number one spot in Bangkok to stock up on all the necessary graffiti supplies for artists to be able to produce their work. I have scheduled an interview with N, the owner of BKK Graph, to ask about Bangkok's graffiti and street art culture, its artists, areas of interest, the legal status of graffiti in Thailand, and the support, or lack thereof, artists are getting from the greater community. So let's listen in. <laughs> สไตล์ก็แล้วแต่ศิลปินมีหลากหลายมากๆครับก็มีทั้งชอบแล้วก็ไม่ไม่ชอบครับผมเพราะบางบางที่มันก็ทําไม่ถูกที่คนเค้า
and leave me a comment in the comment section below about your most favorite street art or graffiti I showed you in this video. I will make sure that one of those copies will arrive at your home, wherever your home might be. All right, now let's roll the tape on some more beautiful artworks here from Bangkok, Thailand, and I see you guys next time. Bye bye.